Hey guys, today I'll be starting a new series which is the Transformers Masterpiece and Third Party News. Um, the point of this uh, review is to kind of go over recent news. I'll be doing this every two weeks, so basically uh, new uh, figures and new images of figures and kind of talking about what's coming up. So I'm trying this out. I want to see what you guys think, uh, so definitely give me some comments, let me know. Uh, well, let's get started with the review. We're going to start out with MP21G, otherwise known as G2 Bumblebee. Uh, Takara released this figure back in the beginning of August. Uh, he's looking to be a pretty pretty decent figure. Uh, I'm expecting the KO companies will uh, knock this off pretty quickly. If they do, I will be getting this figure and able to review it. Um, the only difference between this guy and the Masterpiece Bumblebee is it does come with the jetpack, as you can see there, but the rest is pretty much the same. Takara has announced that they're going to be releasing MP25 tracks. Uh, originally scheduled to be released in September, now delayed to November of 2015. Um, this figure is looking uh, pretty good. There's a lot of uh, gimmicks and add-ons like this right here. You've got um, a couple different pieces to add on. Uh, it really looks like one of their best works to date. A lot of detail, a lot of different modes. You know, got the flying mode for the car. Looks like you got a gun uh, from, on the front here. Uh, you know, it comes with uh, a little sound sound wave. Or I'm sorry, sound blaster figure right there, and with Raul and the trunk, the uh, hood even opens up. So I'm pretty excited for this. There he is with the rest of the masterpiece guys, looking good. Takara has also announced the release of MP26 Road Rage, a repaint of tracks. This is the Diaclone figure that uh, goes with uh, tracks. Uh, actually this is a female figure so it's said to be um, basically a, one of the only females in the whole Autobot line. Uh, this is also was scheduled to release in October has now been pushed to December of 2015. Takara Tomi Mall has also released Images of the MP11T Masterpiece Thundercracker. This figure is a repaint of MP11 Starscream. A lot of people have been expecting this figure. Uh, the Hasbro release of this figure had a slightly different color and paint, and a lot of people have been looking for the cartoon accurate version, and, and this is supposed to be that, although the nose cone, some people have questioned why it's black. Uh, I will definitely be getting this figure. Um, it does come with a pretty hefty price tag of $200, uh, but collectors who are looking for this are definitely going to still get it. Hasbro announced the release of Masterpiece Starscream MP07. This is their version of the Takara Masterpiece Starscream released several years ago. Uh, the difference between this one and the Takara is it does not include the coronation set, the uh, shoulder pads, cape, and uh, the crown. So this is coming at a much lower price tag of $70 versus $200. A lot of people are trying to get this figure. Uh, however, Toys R Us has a very limited selection uh, of this figure, and people are finding it hard to find. So if you're able to get this, congratulations. Uh, good luck on hunting for this guy. And just when you thought when Takara was done uh, announcing new figures, uh, they announced the release of the MP27 Masterpiece Ironhide. Um, this guy looks to be coming with a ton of accessories, lots of different modes, gimmicks. He he seems to have a, a flip-up um, gear kind of all over the place. Looks like the, a piece of his back uh, comes off and it's loaded with weapons and gear. He's got a jet pack. Um, this figure is slated to be released in January of 2016 uh, at a price tag of only $80. Uh, so a lot of people are looking forward to picking this figure up. And Takara is really uh, looking to improve their quality of their figures. This guy looks like he's top-notch right up there with Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Takara Tomi Mall has announced yet another release of the MP14 mold, MP14C Clampdown. This figure appears to be a basically a repaint of Sideswipe with uh, police siren or police lights on it. This is a Diaclone figure and uh, slated to release in December of 2015. I know there are some looking forward to this. I will not be getting this figure, but um, it does look uh, pretty interesting. 
and Takara really seems to be um, reusing their molds as much as possible. And this is yet another one of those where they've made four different releases off the same mold. All right, guys, that's it for today. The next video I'll be doing will be third party masterpiece news that will be coming um, either next week or the week after that. Uh, please leave comments. Let me know if you're enjoying this or if this is uh, something you guys are interested in. If if so, I'll keep doing these videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, like, and uh, leave me comments. Thanks. Bye. Transformers!